Hey everyone, Christina here from IO Planner. So many of you have asked how I add custom headers to my note templates. So I thought I would throw together a quick video to show you how. So what you're looking at is your project index page. We also like to call this the planner dashboard. Uh, first thing you want to do is click on over to your, whoops, not your contacts, <laughs> but your templates page, and then click on over to your notes. So if you haven't taken the time to set up your notes templates, definitely pencil some time into your calendar to do this. There's so much that you can do with notes templates. Um, as an example, I have, gosh, I have a lot of notes templates that I've created. Um, I've created a note for an intro to aisle planner, a bar menu worksheet, a ceremony guide, a destination wedding guide, uh, directions to the venues that I work at a lot, um, gratuity guides, so on and so forth. So the options are limitless when it comes to creating note templates. And I actually like to dress up my notes a little bit, um, which is why I started adding my note headers. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. I'll click here into the ceremony guide. So this actual note template is made up of three different images. So this uh, header up top that says the ceremony guide, this is one image. Uh, ceremony processional is another image as well as the recessional and I think I actually went in and I typed in these um, these section headers um, and I share this with my couples because of course most of them have no idea uh, when it comes to ceremony processionals and recessionals and the order um, and so I found that this you know being able to share this with them in advance of planning out the ceremony details um, really helps them wrap their head around what goes on as far as the ceremony is concerned. So this is just one idea of one thing that you can do. Another example uh, is our Hawaii destination guide. So I plan destination weddings in Hawaii and oftentimes my couples had never been to the islands, um, didn't really know much about Oahu or Hawaii or anything for that matter. So I would create these destination guides for each of the islands that I worked on. So what I would do is I put together uh, where to stay, where to dine, things to do, um, and obviously this is just a sample, so it's a pretty short list. But as you see at the top, I've got a nice custom uh, header that is branded. And you'll notice that all of my note templates have a similar header at the top, but just with different, different titles. Um, and I've created these in Canva. I'm not a graphic designer whatsoever, um, but Canva offers free graphic design tools and it is so, so easy to use. So if you uh, don't have easy access to a graphic designer or don't know where to start when it comes to Adobe Illustrator um, or Photoshop, Canva is a really great resource. They've got lots of templates that you can create your own custom header. So I'm going to show you how I actually get a header into a note template once you already have your header designed. So the first thing you want to do is create a new note template and you're going to want to give it a name. So we just looked at the destination guide. So let's say I'm going to call this, um, well, destination guide, <laughs> nice and straightforward. Then you're going to click into the editable area of this note template. So as you can see, um, by clicking into this note, area or the editable area, it now shows all of these uh, rich text formatting options. So I'm going to click on the insert image icon here and then I'm going to browse my computer desktop for the custom header that I've created. I am going to choose my destination guide header and I'm going to click open and then click OK and there you have it. I've got my custom header dropped right into this note template. So I noticed there's a little bit of extra white space up top, which I don't love. So what I'm going to do is play around with this to remove that. And then I'm going to drop my header, or I'm going to drop my cursor down into the text area of this note and start typing away. When done, I'm going to click save and there you have it. You have a beautiful note header 